The new conditional command blocks execute their commands if the previous command block has run its command successfully. In this case, I am saying conditional if this test was successful, and it's testing whether these two areas are the same. But what if we want to do something when the previous command was unsuccessful? Well, that's what I've built here. I have an inverter, and this is the counter conditional chain, and it's saying counter conditional when uh, these two areas are not the same. Here's how to build it. Get a chain command block which is always active. Pick it up and place a bunch of them just like this. Now a reference block goes here and this is conditional. Onto the commands. Set block right here, stone. Paste it in here. Uh, test for block right here error and finally copy this command into here change it to error this remains empty and now um, your commands go in here um, a chain of conditional command blocks for all the commands you want to execute when this is uh, unsuccessful so how does this work you might ask the order of commands is really important here. First we are setting this to stone, then we are testing whether it is air, and then we are setting it to air. Obviously, even though even, uh, it's happening in one tick and you can't see it, this is stone at the moment it's testing uh, this. So it's unsuccessful and it's not running the rest of the commands here. But if this uh, first command was unsuccessful and this is not even executing because it's conditional then we are not setting this place here to a stone and it's error all the time uh, causing this to be successful and uh, the entire chain here is based off of that and uh, it's being executed. Keep in mind that there are a bunch of configurations for this you just need to preserve the loop and all the connections. Thank you for watching, I hope this is useful to you, and if you can think of any simpler ways of achieving something like this, I'd be happy to know.